Welcome to Lake Forest, California. This is my newly complete, completed Gen 1 GTM. Uh, you can see the uh, louvers. I have a carbon fiber look to it. They wrap on the top, bold red stripe. Knock a ducks into the back. And of course, into the aft hatch of the engine. I'm running a race-tuned LQ9 out of a Cadillac Escalade and a Porsche Transaxle. But I've included a number of electronic features and the purpose of this short videotape is to show you just one of them since many of you had some concerns about the hatch, about the shocks on the hatch and a few other things connected with it. So what I've done is I've designed a remote control system uh, into the car that gives me anywhere from eight to about 30 independent channels. And I can control this by a key fob, which is actually an, an eight channel controller into itself. So if I actually want to raise the latch using my key fob, all I have to do is to hit one of the key fob buttons. I have a high power linear actuator that is set in. It has automatic stops in the elevated position as well as in the closed position. You can see the linear actuator, it's up all the way to the top extended. I've covered the actuator then in a bunch of heat absorbent tape as well as the wires. Now, there's a question probably brought up, what happens if the uh, actuator fails? Well, if it does, located down on the bottom is a stainless steel pull pin and I have access it to a special location on the side. So if I pull this pin, I release the bottom of the linear actuator and it comes to the top. Now, what happens if my remote control system fails and I don't want to use my actuator? Well, what I've done is design an external switch that is mounted hidden underneath the car, which is a convenient location uh, for me. Uh, so the switch then controls or takes the place of the remote control unit. So if I wanna move the hatch down, I just take my finger and flip the switch down. If I wanna move the hatch up, again, I just flip it in the up direction. Now, all of this control then comes into a special electronic module, which is hard to see, that I've designed into the back of the unit. So this gives me uh, basically as many remote control channels as I want, and I can use any types of linear actuators, lights, uh, camera control, or whatever. The additional two wires that you see are actually for video feeds. I have a, we'll be putting in a rear view video camera, and the second one will be a, a GoPro camera uh, that will be fed into a control station uh, into the console. So that gives you a brief tour then of the linear actuator system that I built into the GTM. Of course, I'm waiting for my clutch to be repaired, but in the meantime, there's plenty of other electronic work to do.